So why do justice and fairness matter? According to John Rawls, a society or organization that is seen as being unjust by its stakeholders will not last long because people will not put up with injustice for long. Justice and fairness establish who is fairly entitled to something, a good, a position, an office, a perk, a property. According to Robert Noswick, an entitlement to a good right or property is just if and only if its history is entirely made up of two kinds of events, just acquisition and just transfer. Just acquisition means that the individuals may acquire any property they wish just so long as it is previously unowned and is not taken by theft, version or fraud. Just transfer means that property may be exchanged, given to another person, in other words, if it is gifted, sold, or obtained by agreement, but not if it's stolen or taken by force or fraud. If the history resulting in somebody having something meets this criterion, then that person is justly entitled to it. And another person's level of possessions or needs is irrelevant from a justice standpoint. Further, Noswick argues that all attempts to redistribute goods according to some ideal pattern without the consent of their owners are theft. So let's take an example. Theodore has a painting. If Theodore had asked to buy the painting and the artist said no, but then Theodore forced the artist to sell the painting to him at gunpoint, it does not matter what Theodore paid for the painting. The transfer was not just. But if, on the other hand, Theodore bought that painting from the artist who willingly sold it, then Theodore is entitled to the painting. And it is irrelevant from a justice standpoint that now Theodore has a whole house full of paintings while Lionel has only bare walls. In an organization, justice increases employee commitment, which is a tough-to-copy competitive advantage, whereas injustice leads to retaliation as well as reduced performance and morale. In general, when people are fairly rewarded for successfully completing a task, they are happy and they have pride in their work. But people feel guilty when they have been unfairly rewarded or have treated others unfairly. In general, justice acts as a sort of buffer, allowing employees to maintain respect and trust for an organization, even when things do not go as they would have liked. Now, it's inevitable in life that things will not always go our way. However, the negative effects of an unfortunate event are less severe if an organization is able to maintain justice. Now, there are always going to be people who fail to get the job, receive a lower than expected performance appraisal, or are downsized in the face of business extingencies. As a result, organizations hazard the ill will of their employees simply because they're making the sorts of decision necessary to run their businesses. But justice allows managers to make these tough decisions more smoothly. Justice doesn't mean everyone gets what they want, but it should mean that power will be used in line with concepts of justice and fairness. The result will be that everyone involved will know that the process was fair, even if things didn't turn out the way that most favored them. And therefore, they will be more likely to accept the decisions as legitimate.